Look at me in orange. Shut up. Were you drinking? Mom, do we really have to do this? Everybody is going to be there, Mom. I don't care. Your father and I are not about to let you drive two hours to go to a concert and then spend the night with a bunch of boys, especially that 17-year-old hormone you're dating. It's totally supervised. Oh, really? By whom? By Spencer Patine's uncle. Who is Spencer Patine? You know Spencer, the guy with the arm. Wait, what kind of arm? What does that even mean? His uncle is Uncle Toby. Oh, Uncle Toby. I'll be sure to include that in my Amber Alert. Oh, my okay. God! Okay, can I step I... in here? I think I can help. Haley, what your mom is worried about is you getting your heart broken when Dylan goes off to college next year. That's he's not, not what I'm even thinking. He's not going to college. He's in a band, okay? They're going on tour. Oh, this just gets better and better. Oh, why are you always on me about everything? Because okay, now I everybody, calm understand. down. Let's start from the beginning. What's wrong with Spencer's arm? <gasps> it's ironic that I stand up here representing my classmates when, for the past, I read the rest of your speech. Congratulations. Do you hate me? What? You talk about how all the popular kids are shallow and lame. I didn't mean you. You think you have everyone figured out, but everybody has their stuff. What stuff do you have? Too many boys chasing after you, too many parties? You really want to know what stuff I have? Yeah. I'm flunking out of biology, and now I have to go to summer school. My friends, all they can ever talk about nowadays is going off to college, and I don't even know if I can get into college. Is that enough stuff for you? Whatever. You know what? Fine. Give your stupid speech. Be an outcast, but you're only doing it to yourself because you're smart and pretty and sort of funny in a way that I don't really get, but other people seem to enjoy. So you could either start fresh next year or be the freak who flipped off her class. You really think I'm pretty? Shut up. What is all this? Hey. Hey, Mom. I'm trying to write this stupid college essay question, and I really don't even know where okay, to start. Okay, what's the question? Tell me. What's the biggest obstacle you've ever had to overcome? Didn't my third grade teacher say I had like ADD or something? Oh, no, honey. She said you couldn't ADD, and she put it that way because she also knew you couldn't S-P-E-L-L. -L. Wait, slow down. Oh. Ooh, I was prom. So fun. Michael and I danced all night, uh -huh. and then we stayed after and helped clean up, which was awesome because I got to meet next year's trick teacher. That is not the prom I remember. I have such a bad headache. That's the prom I remember. Mm -hmm. Were you drinking? Mom, do we really have to do this? You ask if I was drinking, I say no, and we both know that that's not true. I mean, aren't we past this point in our relationship? No, young lady, we are not. Then I wasn't drinking. Me neither, Mrs. D. Dear God, tell me he did not spend the night here. Mom, do we really have to do this? Haley, hurry up, you're gonna be late. Alex, what are you doing? I need to document Haley's first day in the chain gang. It's not a chain gang, it's community service, and leave her alone, she feels bad enough as it is. Okay, I'm torn. On one hand, I'm like, ugh, I have to pick up garbage all day. And on the other hand, I'm like, look at me in orange. Aw, that's cute, send that to me. Haley had a little run in with the law in college. She was arrested for assaulting a police officer. Accidentally, I fell on him. While evading arrest for underage drinking. That was on purpose. They were very lenient with her. She only has to do community service. Because I do not have any priors. Taking a little too much pride in that, sweetheart. Honey. Yeah, that's weird. It is, yeah. Bailey, honey, can you help us? I don't think anyone can. Just let Andy hold you, officer, in a gentleman style, and I'll superimpose Beth's face over yours on the computer. That's insane. I know, I can do anything with this. If she's not comfortable, You know I don't... what, guys? This whole thing is really sad and pathetic. No girl wants a guy that tries this hard. If I got this video, I'd call the police. Some girls actually like guys who are nice to them. Some girls like 36 of them. There's 37 of them! Okay, this is passion. We can use it. Andy, pick her up. All right, let's just get this over with. Oh, my gosh! He's actually picking me up, Dad! This is for a minute. Now lock eyes and action. Honey? This is my long way of saying I miss you. But I don't have to climb a mountain or swim an ocean to be with you. Because you're always with me. My thoughts, my dreams, my heart. You deserve more than I could possibly ever give you. But everything I have is yours. I love you. It was beautiful. I really felt that one. Did you feel that one? No, I didn't feel anything. I was talking to Andy. 
I know. Put me down, freak. Nikki! Uh, Thank God you're here. Feel this orange for me. Mr. Sinclair, it's Haley Dumphy. I was supposed to see you for the assistant job. I have been studying your work, and I have to say the looks that you did for New York Fashion Week. I uh, I'm really too busy right now. But I drove all the way down here. We had an appointment. Yeah, I looked at your blog. It's a little too cutesy for me. I need someone with edge. I have edge. You really don't. You are literally the most wide-eyed person I've ever seen. You have the face of a cartoon lamb. Thanks for coming by, though. What is that? I wanted the peel. Hey, I think it's weird you don't like cutesy considering half your clients at the Grammys look like they just stepped out of a My Little Pony fever dream. That's good, but not at me. Never at me. Nikki, stop. There are five things wrong with Nikki's outfit. What are they? Uh, she's standing right there. I'm just better than she is. The tank gives you a uniboob. The watch is too big, the hair and pants, the wedge boots, and come on, that belt the 90s have been out for three years. And that's five. Now should I do you? Hey, I, uh, I feel kind of bad about before. Don't, we didn't do anything. I know, it just felt like something could have. If everybody hadn't. Yeah. You know what it is. It's the house. It's the house! I mean, the fireplace, the music... The crazy couch bed? Anyone could have gotten swept up. Anyone? Anyone, yeah. Anyone. Well, I should get going. Yeah, yeah. totally. I mean, it was a fun afternoon, though. I wanted one crazy adventure before I got married, and I got one. Good. It was fun. I'll see you later. Yep. Is Rainer not here yet? Oh, no, he is. He, uh, signed a headshot I didn't ask for and then went to the bathroom. There's his daughter. I've never met a boyfriend's daughter before. I mean, I went out with Stacy's dad, but I've known her since, like, kindergarten. You're nervous? I mean, how could this go wrong? She's a teenage girl. That's when you peaked. I know. I guess I just really like this guy, and I want to be able to show him I can fit into the more complicated parts of his life. Hey, princess. Hey! hey. Six people filmed me arguing with that meter maid, and no one caught this adorable moment? <laughs> so, you must be April. Uh, yeah. <laughs> April, tone. Uh, I'll grab a chair. Oh. All right, that's work. Got to take that. Anyways, I'm Haley, your dad's uh... latest. Yes. Flash flood in the Mojave. They need me to cover it. The water's already ramp high at the senior center. You know, a puppy floats by on a pizza box. This could be national. Ooh, snakes. Our day. I'll just go to Mom and Jeff's. No, no, we were supposed to get to know each other today. Um, I can watch you. Because I'm four? Ooh, tone. Are you sure? Yes. Girl, stay. We'll meet you later. Oh, OK. Thank you for understanding, sweetie. No, no problem. problem. <laughs> Tragedy strikes, dozens dead. Tragedy strikes, dozens dead. <laughs> You'll pay for that! Oh my god, oh my god! Time out, time out! I just saw my reflection. I told you that churro was going to drink up my lipstick. Time in! Oh my god! Dylan, the lipstick went up my nose! It's really jammed up there! Oh, okay. Stay still, Haley. I'll hit you from the other side. What are you doing? Just want to let you know the x-ray shows no broken nose. I guess we figured out we were acting kind of childish. Enjoy it while you can, right? Yeah. Who says we have to race into being adults? Why wouldn't you want to enjoy a carefree life as long as you could? At least until the baby comes. Oh, that's years away, trust me. <laughs> Actually, we always run a blood test before anesthesia. You're pregnant. <laughs>